All righty then, folks. I am back. Uh, daughter and grandson went back to their mom's for her mom's for a few days, and she'll be back on Thursday. So I got free time again. I uh, just got back from the big orange store and got my last load of sheetrock. Not that I'm needing it. I'm still, she's a long ways away from being done on that, man. It's hard work doing this by myself, uh, especially putting sheetrock up on the ceilings. And I'm finding a little bit of out of, out of squareness on the frame of my house. But, hey, I know how to deal with it. I'm getting it done. Anyways, the bedroom's almost done. I'm hoping to finish that today, so I'm fixing to go to work out there and unload my last 20 sheets. This is the Living Room Painter, and welcome to my channel, everybody. I hope you all enjoy the content I put out there, and I appreciate your patience for sitting around through all the boring videos. Alright, folks. YouTube is in no way aff affiliated, sponsoring, or endorsing what I do on this channel. This is all me. All right, we're going to do a few updates here. The mini giveaway, I've got only two spots left, number 11 and number 17. So if anybody wants in on that, we'll probably be doing a drawing on that real soon. On the 54 card draw, I've got no donators today. Sherry Ward won that one spot, and she hit the king of clubs, and that was awesome, man. Man, so Sherry, congratulations on that win. All right, next thing is... Now, let's skip that for a second. The big time giveaway. It's a $10 donation per number. And, folks, there's a half a gram of gold up for grabs on this first place prize. Second place gets you two card draws. Third place is a 1922 piece dollar. Fourth place is a one ounce silver round. And fifth place is a $20 bill star note. All right, folks, and I got plenty of spots available on that one. And I guess the last thing is my winner's list. I've kind of been starting to make packages up and getting addresses all on them and doing all my thing to them, but they're not, they won't ship today. It'll probably be tomorrow, maybe even Wednesday before I make it to the post office. All right, folks, well, let's move back to this. Next, we got the, where is it? What is it? The what is it game. This is a fun little thing I came up with, and I'm giving a $2 spot. So, I decided I'd do this thing. And, I knew some of y'all were going to know exactly what it is, and some of y'all were totally lost. And it's fun seeing all y'all's guesses. Marshall Vincent, he says to cut loose threads. Eh, wrong. Partridge Family Prospecting, he says it's a lance bleeder. Eh, Carry and Terry, an ink pen. Uh, eh. Stephen K, a silver remover. Eh. Scott J, for, for cutting thread, like on a sewing machine maybe. Eh. Trust the process, nailed it. He was the first one to nail it. It's a Remington, and it even says Remington on it right there. It's a Remington trigger lock. This goes on a Remington, it's far, a Remington 870 trigger lock. And there's a safety button that has a little insert in it that you put this key in, and it's got a diagram on it. You turn it one way or the other to lock it or unlock it, and it locks the safety where you cannot take it off the safety. Uh, I think nowadays they're making this type of, of mechanism on every weapon they sell. And my older guns don't have it, but my newer ones do. And again, it is a Remington safety lock, is what it is. And it's metal. And man, if you lock your gun and you lose this dude, and you go out in the field to go hunting or whatever, you're up the creek without a paddle, buddy, because you're never going to get that thing unlocked without this special little key. So that's what it is. Uh, to can you continue down the list, Ken Allen, he guessed it right. And I think Stephen B. was in there. He was one of the first few. Shane H. got it right. Shane P. got it right. And Grandpa Joe guessed a cutter for a snake bite kit. All cool and fun guesses. So I appreciate y'all's participation on this. But trust the process. He did it first. He guessed it first right off. He knew exactly what it was. And I think to make it more interesting in the future, if I ever do one of these games again, I'm going to have y'all leave your, your guesses on my Gmail. 
That way other people won't know that it's guessed because it's interesting to see what people are guessing. And once one person knows it, then somebody else says, oh yeah, that's what it is. So everybody jumps on board. When you send it to Gmail, nobody will know that it's guessed and it'll be cooler that way. And it's easier for me to log who was in sequence first. When you do comment, sometimes the time on there is a little bit off, but... I'm I'm certain trust the process nailed it, and right behind him, I'm pretty sure it was uh, uh, Stephen B. Maybe, or somewhere in there. It was between them all, but I got one spot I'm giving up. So trust, I'm putting you on the two dollar raffle, my friend. That leaves only one spot left. So trust, there you go, brother. You nailed it. Trust the process. All right. And that wraps up the fun and games for right now. So I got one spot left, number 11, on this $2 deal. And maybe this evening we'll do a drawing. All right, folks. Well, thank y'all for the fun. I appreciate y'all's time and y'all's patience. Please support the community. There's a lot going on out there right now. You never know. Someday you might be one that needs help. So if you give, it'll come back to you. I always say that, folks. All right. Well... Taters, I guess y'all have a great day today. Enjoy your time, and we will talk to y'all later. Later, taters.